Hello readers, today we're going to be reading Babauska and the Three Kings by Ruth Robbins, illustrated by Nicholas Sidjakov. Babauska and the Three Kings Long ago and far away, on a winter's evening, the wind blew hard and cold around a small hut. Inside the hut was Babauska, who was sweeping and scrubbing and feeding wood to the stove. The old woman took pride in the clean comfort of her meager home. The swirling snow drifted and deepened outside. Babauska's hut felt snug around her. Her warm stove was the center of a cold world. As day turned into night, a trumpet call sounded on the wind. A train of travelers was approaching. Leading the procession was a magnificent sleigh drawn by three white horses. In the sleigh rode three men, splendid figures wearing jeweled crowns and cloak of crimson and ermine. Men on horseback followed the sleigh and behind them trudged men on foot. The process stopped at the door of Babauska's hut. Babauska heard a knock when she lifted the latch. The three strangers stood in the doorway. The poor woman looked in wonder at their elegant dress, their frosted beards, their kind eyes. What manner of men were these? In answer to her thought, one of the three smiled and said, we have been following a bright star to a place where a babe is born. Now we have lost our way in the snow. Come with us, Babauska. Help us to find the child to offer him gifts and to rejoice in his birth. Babauska shivered in the cold. She hugged a sh she hugged a shawl tightly around her thin shoulders. Good sirs, come in and warm yourselves by the stove. I have not yet finished my day's work, and I shudder to go out on such a cruel night. Morning is wiser than evening. Rest here this night, and I will go with you in the dawn. There's no time to linger, Babauska, answered the strangers. If you cannot come with us now, we must continue our journey. They turned and disappeared into the storm. Babauska went back to her sweeping and scrubbing. Her work finished, she sat down to a lonely supper close by the stove. The warmth of the fire reached into her heart. She felt a sudden tenderness and joy for the newborn child. What grand gentlemen those three. They didn't seem, they did seem like kings, she said aloud. It is no ordinary babe they seek. Yes, I must go and follow them. To find the new babe, to offer him her her gift, was now her one yearning. This thought burned in her mind like a candle in the dark. Babauska awoke before dawn. Babauska awoke before dawn and made ready for her journey. Into her sack, she carefully placed a few poor but precious gifts. As the new day began, she stepped out into the quiet snow. The old woman hunted for the path. Made by the travelers, but the snow had covered their way, stopping one person, then another, and still another, she asked, in which direction did the three kings go? They who were seeking the child? Neither old nor young could tell her. Babauska stood watching the children at play in the new snow, the dogs yelping and dancing around her. But she must not delay. She must push her way ahead. From village to village, from door to door, she went asking, have you seen the child? Always she received the same answer. 
No one has seen him. Stopping Babauschka wandered on searching for the child, but never finding him. And it is said that every year at the season when the birth of the child was first hurdled, Babauschka renews her search across that land with new hope. And it is said that for every year, little children await the coming of Babauschka. They find joy in the poor but precious gifts she leaves behind her in the silent night. Babauschka. Babauschka and the Three Knights. Thanks for reading this interesting book, readers.